Pawn shops, a place where people take their items of value in exchange for cash. Which means sometimes you can find some insane steals and deals. But pawn shops are also known for being very sketchy. Which means when you shop at these places, you have a very high possibility of being scammed. So today we're gonna find the most insane deals and find out if they're actually good or if they're just one big scam. Pawn shops are interesting places. They sell everything from bikes to guitars to even iPhone 14s. You have to be very careful though because a lot of times things are very overpriced and they don't even work. For example, these iPhone 12s and 13s were both iCloud locked, but they were still crazy expensive, which can lead you to getting scammed if you're not careful. However, you can also find some really rare items at great prices. Today, we were specifically shopping for the craziest prices to see if we get scammed or not. So while we were shopping, we found a couple good pieces at crazy prices and we negotiated them even lower. We took a gamble on a lot of different items, not knowing if they were going to work or not. But sometimes you got to gamble to find the steals and deals. Okay, guys, we just got another insane deal that might be too good to be true. I saw this iPhone X for $175, but that was gonna be too expensive. So after negotiating it down with the seller, we got it down to a hundred bucks. Well, I'm hoping it's not broken because that might have been a really good deal. There's absolutely no way these were like $10, right? That doesn't make sense. Some of this stuff in here, it just doesn't make sense. Like $10 AirPods, like $20 Beats speaker. Like what's going on here? Something has to be wrong with them, right? Would you guys come down the 190 for that? I don't know. If, if we could do like 80, we'd probably take it. The first thing we had to pick up was this Apple Watch SE second gen for $170. This is definitely too good to be true considering these are selling for like $250 normally. So this is definitely something we have to test out at home because there's no way this works, right? It was so cheap. The next thing we had to pick up were these Beats headphones for $70. This is just way too good to be true to get some Beats for $75 when they're normally like $100 to $200. I have a strong feeling they're either fake or broken. The next thing we got was a MacBook Air. This is a definitely an older MacBook Air. They had it for $190. We negotiated it down to $80. Bucks. This is just such a good price for a MacBook. $80? Like there has to be something wrong with it for it to be that cheap. I don't really know what's wrong with it yet, but $80? You can't beat that. Either we just got the best deal and deal of our life or it's a scam. The next thing we got was this iPad. It was normally $250, but we negotiated it down to $115 for this iPad. I have no idea what condition it's in. We just kind of bought it. So we're going to see if this was a stealer deal or if we kind of wasted money on this one. But it did come with Apple Pencil, so we kind of had to get it. And the last thing we got were these AirPods. I don't know what's wrong with them, but they were $10. Oh my gosh. So we just came out of that pawn shop and they had a lot of scams in there. They had like phones that were $400, $500 that were all iCloud locked. So it's kind of scary when you buy from these pawn shops because you never know. So the thing that we bought was actually an iPhone 12, 64 gigabytes for $250. $250 for an iPhone 12 is kind of crazy. There has to be something wrong with it. We never know until we try it out. So let's see if we got a steal and deal or if we got scammed from these people. We are back with all of the products and it's time for the moment of truth. A scam or a steal. First thing we have is the Beats wireless headphones for $75. Normally these headphones are $150. So why these were 75 bucks? I have no idea. Let's find out. Oh snap! Oh, these are the little pink ones. Wait, they're actually wired. Oh no! It's all starting to make sense now. Do you see this? Are these even real beats right now? I can't tell if these are real or not. They feel so cheap. Oh my gosh. I'm really starting to see why these were $75 now. These aren't wireless either, which is kind of a bad thing. So these are actually getting sold online for $130. So technically they're still kind of a steal, although they are definitely breaking. Would this be a scam or a deal, I don't really know what to tell you at this point. But the real truth is if they actually work. If they don't work, then they're, oh, they're stinky. Oh, they, they're stinky. The real question is, do these headphones actually work? Please work. They work! So I'm a little bit questionable about if they are a scam or a steal. Technically, we got $75 off of them, and it did seem too good to be true, but it seems like it's kind of true. I mean, they are a little bit busted, so I'll leave this up to you guys in the comments whether you guys think this was a scam or a steal. The next thing we got was an iPad, sixth generation, and we bought this for $115. We negotiated it down from $250 to $115, which $115 for an iPad, say it with me, that's way too good to be true. It has to be a scam. And it also came with the Apple Pencil. Oh, snap. This isn't even a real Apple Pencil. It's just like one of those little cheap ones. Oh my god. I really thought this was a real Apple Pencil for a second. Apple Pencil aside, let's see if this bad boy works. Come on, baby. Turn on. Okay, it's dead. So our $100 iPad finally turned on. It's time for the moment of truth. See if this thing works properly. <gasps> oh. 
I knew it, dude. I knew it. It has a password on it. There's literally nothing we can do with this iPad if it has a password on it, unfortunately. We just got scammed. I mean, did we only pay $100 for this? Yeah. Did I still expect it to work? Kind of. Kind of sucks. Oh, uh, well. I'm stupid. It literally says Bruh. locked on the price tag. Maybe I didn't get scammed. I'm just kind of stupid. If you don't check them properly, you could end up getting scammed like I did. If anybody wants a locked iPad, let me know because you can have this one. The next thing we got was an iPhone 10. This iPhone 10, we got it for $100 when the iPhone 10 is normally at least 200 bucks. So it does turn on. Okay, no lock on it. Okay, wait, why does this actually look good? And there's no Apple ID on it. What? What the heck? Did we actually get a seal? This video was supposed to be a scam. There has to be a reason why it was so cheap. Maybe the condition of the back is just not good. <gasps> That's why it was so cheap. It's literally shattered. No. Wait, is it actually? Wait, what is this? Oh, <laughs> it's just a screen protector, guys. My bad. Whoopsie. I really thought this was a scam because why else would they be selling it for only $100? Maybe the camera's broken? Like, there has to be something wrong with it. All right, you guys have to tell me, is this camera working? Does it look good? Do we get a steal and deal? Let's see if we can maybe, from what I can tell, this iPhone's actually in perfect condition other than the fact that it's actually AT&T phone. But other than that, like, everything looks really good. Is it bad that I expected it to be a scam and it was kind of a steal and deal? This iPhone works. The next thing we got was, a $80 MacBook Air. Is this thing completely destroyed and looks like someone just threw it off their balcony? Yes. This was definitely someone's MacBook and they just got triggered and like threw it. So condition of it, questionable. Does it work though? Did we get a steal or is it a scam? Oh, first test, does it turn on? It's not passing the first test. Uh oh, stinky. Not even turning on. I mean, $80, I didn't expect it to work, but at the same time, like, I paid $80. <laughs> oh, it turns on! Let's go! We just got a steal and deal. We just got a steal and deal because it actually turned on. Wait, what the heck is that? <laughs> what does that mean? Bro, ain't no way. Okay, I knew it. I knew that some of these had to have not worked. Is it really a scam though if we bought it for $80? I don't really know, but obviously it doesn't work, which is why you kind of have to be careful when you're buying these things. We'll do a little hardware reset. Um, I mean, what do you expect? Yes, we got this for $80, but it doesn't work. So it doesn't really matter what price we got it at. Next thing we got was an Apple Watch Series SE, and it comes with a charger. We bought it for $130. Normally, Apple Watch SEs are $250, so there's absolutely no possible way that this thing actually works. Why would it be so cheap? So I'm expecting the work. Let's see if this bad boy works. Wait a minute. Am I tripping out? This thing actually works. We only paid $130 for this Apple watch se right now and it seems like it worked i mean of course there is a little bit of damage on the top part of it like it's been scraped around still i really really thought that this apple watch was going to be a scam because it was so inexpensive we literally got it for half the price the whole point of the video was i thought we were going to get scammed and now i'm feel kind of dumb because this thing actually is like good let's see if we can make a call on this apple watch it's ringing let's see if they answer hello hello does this work ah it works this is actually a good Apple Watch, and we got it at a steal of a deal. Let me know in the comments, do you guys think this was actually a steal and deal, or do you think it would have been better to buy it new? The next thing we bought that was just absolutely a scam were these $10 AirPods. When I saw these for $10, I said there's no way these have to be broken, something has to be wrong with these AirPods. That makes zero sense, but let's see if they actually work. Oh, <laughs> it makes so much sense. I knew it. I didn't even open them before I bought them, but these are actually fake AirPods. Oh my gosh. I knew that if they were $10, something had to be wrong with them. And not only are they super questy dusty, they're actually fake. I probably should have opened them up before I bought them, but I just thought it was a steal and deal, so I bought them. And the last item that has to, has to be broken is this iPhone 12 that we just bought for $250. It was $357, but we negotiated it down to $250 which means that there has to be something wrong with it that we don't know about. Normally, iPhone 12s are like $400, $500. Tell me that doesn't sound like a scam. So on the outside, the condition looks great. It's not cracked or anything, it looks good. And it also powers on, we know this because I bought it powered on, but there has to be a lock on it. I'm hoping there's not, but for $250, 
No lock. Let's go. The only problem is I'm hoping there's not an Apple ID on this. There's like somebody stuff all over it. So this could very much be locked. Is this iPhone locked? No. Oh my gosh, it's not. Let's go. Okay, wait. Is this video a lie? The whole point was I was supposed to get scammed. And this is not a scam. This is a steal and deal. Like what? This just doesn't make sense. It works. Everything works so good. Camera works. So guys, I may have been wrong about this one. This one seems like a very good deal. We got it at like half the price it normally is. Yes, it has someone's stuff on it, but we can easily just restart it if we want to. But other than that, the condition's great. But I really don't know what to do with this phone. So if you guys want to use it for like a giveaway, let me know in the comments down below if I should give it away or if maybe I should sell it. I may have been wrong about pawn shops because out of the seven things that we bought, four of them were actually pretty good deal. The other three, not so much. But that could have been avoided if I was just shopping more carefully. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you think we got scammed at these pawn shops or do you think we got some steals and deals? If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.